Hey guys, this is Mad Recall. I want to talk today. There's some shit that's just been like plaguing in my mind, right? It's just fucking constantly there. And it's when I view other YouTubers, you know, other Call of Duty guys or other people who do first person shooters, man. I go through it and it seems like every freaking one of them almost always do a copy paste. It's like everybody has the same fucking. I, it's like they're on a fucking email list where everybody does the same exact shit. I mean, it's like if fucking one guy tries to mail himself in a box pretending to mail himself in a fucking box, he gets like 2.5 billion fucking views, and then a, a gamer chick will do the same fucking thing, and then it's just like a fucking snowball effect. I mean, this is something I noticed, and I also noticed there was a several other things that they do. And I'm guilty sometimes of it too, even though it's, you know, it's not my fault. Whenever they're talking about releasing content and shit like that, of course I go back and I try to announce it. Even though there's probably some jackhole as soon as a fucking website or Twitter, somebody posts some shit up, they jump right on the ball sack and they do it as well. But that's just trying to keep, I guess, your subscribers informed. But when I go through, I see all of these fucking copycat people and... I'm kind of heartbroken in one way because, and I'll, I'll explain to you why I feel sorry for some people. You got some people, man. They've they've been getting you know two three hundred thousand views per video, and and that's that's pretty fucking good. You know that's pretty fucking good. Uh, but now they're getting like ten fifteen thousand views, and these people. I, I know some people. They've just bought homes. They've just bought cars. They have kids coming. They have babies coming. They have children. Their wives have quit their jobs, their girlfriends, or whatever the fuck, and they're, you know, they see a lot of these money mooching bitches. They get with a lot of these high up class bitches, and they're going to leave them. I mean, these guys are going to fucking lose everything because of how YouTube has changed so much, guys. And I feel sorry for these guys, and I see the struggle. I mean, I can, there's a couple guys, and I, I don't want to throw names out, but you guys know who the fuck I'm talking about. It doesn't take much to search. There's not a lot of, I mean, it's not like it's hidden. You know, a lot of these guys have based solely all of their income here on YouTube. And the sad part of it is, is it's starting to fall through. I don't know why it's falling through, but it's falling through. And a lot of people are fucking getting hit by this shit. And, you know, my heart bleeds for these guys, you know, because if, if I had done this and it was like my primary source of fucking income, I'd be starving to death. On the fucking streets. I mean, I don't fucking make that kind of money. I mean, some of these fucking guys, you know, they're making thirty, forty, fifty thousand dollars a fucking month. Uh, you know, and that shit is starting to go to hell. And I'm sure a lot of these guys, fucking Lambos they've bought, these fucking nice fucking whatever the fuck you wanna call it, Uber fucking Lamborghini Diablos. I'm sure that a lot of them's going to be either a repossessed or they're going to be fucking for sale pretty soon up on Craigslist trying to get some fucking money just to survive this drought that YouTube has created for people. It's like their job security is fucking running out. And I knew a couple guys who had some pretty good careers. You know, we had uh, one guy who worked at a, a fucking business firm. He just said, fuck it, quit his job, pretended like he got fired. But he quit his job because he was just trying to strive for the dream of becoming the next fucking best Call of Duty YouTuber or whatever the fuck on the on the planet. And now he's he's pretty much screwed himself in the ass. We had another guy who who was and I'm not gonna say names, but he was a fucking paramedic, you know, and he was making I guess mediocre money. And then now he's he's gone to shit and and he's starting to push a lot more promos on people like click here, buy my shit, you know, use this discount code. And a lot of them are starting to add that shit in here, man. It's like it's fucking primetime TV. You know, take advantage of me. Bend me over. Stick it in my ass here. We're going to give you money. Fucking help support your kids. Help you. Whatever the fuck. You know, and, and it, the only people that it's going to affect is these children these people are having. And these people that are fucking just out here buying ridiculous fucking shit when they couldn't afford it in the first place. You know, it's kind of like my dad always said, man. If you don't have the money, then don't go out and buy it. You know, and, and that's kind of true in one sense. My dad's always been a, a no bullshitter. If he doesn't have the cash in his pocket to get something other than a home, he won't fucking buy it. I mean, he, he just won't, you know. You know, my it's just how it is, you know. And, and shit has changed a lot in my family and life throughout the years and shit. 
But I mean, I really, I worry for these guys. I mean, I see a lot of YouTube channels that's going to die. I see a lot of channels that's just going to go to ape shit, and their their quality is going to change so much. And and it, it's kind of a curious place to be right now. I mean, it is. It, it's kind of like watching a train wreck. You you want to turn away because you know it's going to be bad, but you sit there and you watch it anyway. You know, because it's just curiosity, man. That's what killed the cat. You know, it, it's you're going to watch it. You know, and, and I've seen, you know, even myself. I mean, thank God this is not like my sole primary fucking source of income or I'd be fucking living on a street corner. I mean, it's just, it's ridiculous, you know, what what's happened. You know, and, and you know, I, in one way it's kind of funny and in another way it's kind of sad, you know, because it's just... Everybody put all their eggs in one basket, you know what I'm saying? And they didn't, you know, make it mean they didn't invest their money wisely. You've got some people that bought two or three fucking homes. And I'm sure there's going to be a lot of good deals that's going to be coming through. So if you guys are in the fucking real estate or car auto market, I'm sure you guys are going to be able to get some sweet deals. But, you know, anyway, this has been Mad Review. I wanted to just throw my fucking rant out there, guys, and, and just let you guys know. That if you're looking for a fucking Lambo, man, check fucking Craigslist. Uh, I'm sure if you're looking for a fucking vacation home in Florida, I'm sure fucking just start looking, dude, because you're going to find one pretty soon. Uh, and then you can fucking flip that shit. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I shouldn't fucking kid, but no joke, man. It's, it's about to get real up in this bitch. It's about to get real on YouTube guys and people don't fucking understand it, but it's about to get fucking real up in here. Hey guys, this has been Mad Recall, cool, man. I'll catch you guys in my next video. Hit that like button below. Share the video. And be fucking safe, man. Any time you're out traveling this holiday season, always be fucking safe, man. I'll catch you guys later.